Good evening, Smoke Nation, and welcome back to another Smoke Pipe Session. It is your boy, your host, Young Neasy, back at it again with another banger. You feel me? Smash your likes and subscribe. <clears throat> Shout out to the Smoke Nation. Shout out to the Chosen Ones. You know, today, you know, it ain't really going to be that spiritual today. We're going to keep it, you know, more economical today. We're going to talk about economics. But this is still relevant to the chosen ones. And this is why we're, we're all going to survive through this crisis reset that's happening right now. I just caught wind of this, but apparently we are right on the verge of, or I guess it just happened, the Bretton Woods third, Bretton Woods third agreement. I didn't even know we were on the third one. <clears throat> but it all makes sense. Let's just break it down. The first Bretton Woods Agreement was after World War II, where 1945 to 1971, they decided to make the dollar the gold standard and everything internationally would be traded in dollars. And that was great. Everything was great. Everything was fine. The dollar was king. <clears throat> But then the U.S. had defaulted on its debt and the dollars were no longer redeemable for gold. After when the second Bretton Woods Agreement, which was 1971, when Richard Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard and we started the fake fiat printing money systems. And that basically started from 1971 all the way up to basically apparently last week. apparently but basically after after 2008 i wrote all this down so after 2008 central banks started buying gold that, that's basically when when actually everything started to shift but they were just like oh look over here not over there so all central banks started buying gold after the housing crash in 2008 the subprime mortgage loan debacle <sighs> smash the likes and uh, ever since then, they've been buying gold and buying gold and buying gold. So what does that mean? Whatever central banks do, you do. So if they buy gold, you buy gold. This is not financial advice, but you can't print gold. All right. So the third. All right. So basically, we started at the first Bretton Woods Agreement was a commodity gold backed money. And then we went to a printing second Bretton Woods agreement which was printing money on uh, non-gold backed economy and now we're going back to a gold based money Russia got the gold China got the gold America got the gold a lot of countries got gold <clears throat> whoever has the most gold wins of course and whoever has the most Bitcoin wins as well <sighs> but basically the U.S. sanctioned Russia. They had $630 billion that they were going to use to fund this war or whatever, you know, take down these pedos, I guess. And the U.S. froze it or, you know, Biden and them froze those assets. They cannot touch them. They cannot touch their bank accounts. So who, who's going to hold a U.S. bank account if if a whole nation can't even, you know, have access? gets shut out of their own money well who else is gonna uh, i don't hold my money in the bank get the fuck out of here i already got my paypal frozen i already know what it's like i already been to jail i already you know i already been through this this they process me all right i already been filtered off the internet we've been done deleted i already see what these communists do so you you best believe your boy the chosen one is going to tell you how to protect yourselves just like I had to do myself. So what we got, we got Bitcoin. You're going to want to buy some Bitcoin. You're going to want to buy some gold and some silver. These are hard assets, assets that these assholes cannot print. And when I say Bitcoin, I don't mean BTC because that is the fake Bitcoin. It is not real. These commies are controlling that as well. The real Bitcoin is BSV, Bitcoin SV, Satoshi Vision. Look into it. This is not financial advice. Just, you know, do whatever you got to do to hedge against the, the, the pedo system, the communist system. You must get out 
of this system because we have to go back to a commodity based system gold backed system bitcoin backed gold backed bitcoin system if you will it's going to be a fusion so this is how you're going to protect yourself chosen ones gold and bitcoin and silver you know that's basically today's episode protect your assets protect your money make sure nobody ha can be able to freeze your money or whatever you got you know and be make sure you're holding it, whatever you got if you don't hold it you don't own it all right <clears throat> that's it for today's episode you know shout out to the chosen ones comment like subscribe get with y'all another time peace